Welcome to your personal Baltimore Humane Society Ambassador Center. Let's quickly go through these five tabs so you can understand the features and functionalities. The overview tab is exactly it. It shows your commitment total, shows you where your personal fundraising page is, and just gives an overview of your image and your statement. It is your profile page, the second tab, where you can come in and customize the default image and text that have been given to you. Additionally, you could change your commitment goal if you like. So let's do that. Once we hit Edit Profile, we can then come in and modify our goal. So I'm going to up mine to $1,000. And we can also modify the statement that is provided for you. You can write anything you want, or you can just put sincerely, in this case, my name. And I want to italicize that, so I'll put italicize. I do want to change the picture because I want to reflect me. So therefore, I'm just going to click on the Browse button, and I'm going to go and grab my image. And there it is. It's uploaded. Additionally, you can also upload an email image with a maximum size of 150 by 150 pixels. So I'm going to browse, and I'm going to grab the same image, but just a headshot. And I'm going to save those changes once I'm done. And I've saved those changes. So now my fundraising page is going to reflect those changes. Let's take a quick look at that. Originally, here's what you received as the default fundraising page. Once I customized it and refreshed the page, you can see there it is, my personal image and my signature. And my goal has increased to $1,000. The third tab is actually just showing all your donations with regard to your ambassador campaign. The recognition tab is simply that. Let's say your mother-in-law mails in a check, does not give online, you can add her name and her gift amount that she mailed into you. When you type in her name and put in the gift amount, it'll be reflected in your fundraising goal. So in this case, my goal is $1,000. My mother-in-law just gave $250. And once its page is refreshed, you can see there it is, $250 given. And that way, I'm giving an offline or manual gift in recognition to my campaign. The last tab, My Tools, is simply that. Here's where your personal fundraising page is. Also, your personal URL, if you want to email that to somebody. And if you have blog or a WordPress or another website where you would like to add your status widget or your donation form, you can simply copy this script code and paste it into that other website or that WordPress or that blog, and your form or your goal widget will be there. I hope this helps. Additionally, we've provided you a training video down here, and also here are some actual marketing tips. Thank you for being an ambassador for Baltimore Humane Society. Also remember to go to the bottom of your personal ambassador fundraising page and click on the Facebook icon, the Twitter, or email out to your personal fundraising page. It's as simple as clicking on Facebook and you'll be able to select uh, some of the images. You'll be able to write your message and then when you share the link, it'll automatically post to your Facebook wall. That'll help promote your initiative as an ambassador to the Baltimore Humane Society. Thank you.